Hello everyone, this is Matt and welcome to the 18th part of my quick Brilliant Jam playthrough. Today I want to play through Cured Koi by Rabbit. Yeah, this is the last map I didn't play in this tier of maps and for a couple of reasons for that. First of all, let's set up the music. Music, track. How does this work again? Music, track. Oh, tune. Uh, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Okay, let's go with life. Yeah. Okay, so cured core is. It's like uh, the one map I took a little while in actually getting to for a pretty simple reason, and the reason is it's actually pretty tough. Not impossibly so. But for me, at least, it demanded a little bit of actually walking around, seeing how things worked. Because it's a bit of a special challenge. As you can see, we start with nothing but the axe for this one. I wonder if there's going to be a secret or something over here. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. So yeah, again, well, that dog just fell to its death. So yeah, as I was saying, this demands a bit of a special care because, yeah, you start with nothing but the axe and there are plenty of pretty hard hitting monsters to deal with. At least the knights aren't too bad. But as you can see, I'm already at 20 health. And that's not exactly good. But that's not all. Because yes, your ears did not deceive you. We have a war right there. And how I deal with that guy is I stand over here and get him to kill himself with those barrels. And, oh, that's funny. Yeah, the dog's of course just like yeeted itself off the platform there. So yeah, this one is a bit of a special challenge. Because you start with only the axe. Most of our weapons are locked away. And on top of all that, it's actually a fairly long map. So yeah, a couple of ways of doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna get the ogres to in fight with the with the dogs if possible. It's not exactly something that's quite easy. I mean, it's easier said than done. Anyway, how this fight works is you get the um, oh the dogs to fight with the ogres. There are two ogres. The other one isn't exactly woken up just yet. And also there are um, there's a scrag somewhere around here. And you have to hit those barrel uh, those buttons. And then you can actually use the basic single barrel shotgun. And we have a bunch of app life sounds on in here for some reason. But yeah, it's not too bad early on. You can sort of skip a bunch of those monsters. They're gonna open up there. But yeah, at least ammo shells are relatively plentiful. So what I like doing here is I like coming up, shooting that little button, taking cover behind the spiller for a little bit, waiting for a second, and once that platform is almost all the way over there, I'll jump onto it. Yeah, there's a lot of monsters in here. 
And yeah, you have to hold them back with nothing but the regular shotgun. It's not too bad. Just a little bit annoying, but... Yeah. The map itself looks fantastic. I will give it that. Okay, so here we have a bit of a nasty little secret. And do mean that in kind of a literal way. Because we're gonna pop this open and look who's inside. The spawn. Huh, I'm actually managed to get him pretty easily this time around. Anyway, we go back up the stairs here, and there's gonna be a bunch of monsters here. You can more or less just ignore them, really. Oh, the dogs, not so much. But we should be out of the range of the other guys. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna pay as much attention here. Anyway, let me climb up here so we can have a nice view of the pinnacle of architecture in tier one, possibly. But this is a big concrete thing floating in mid-air. Mid and yeah, I have a bunch of those red buttons that are gonna let you actually progress through the map. And it has a bunch of cool set pieces like this. Where stuff blocks into each other. It's really neat. Also a little bit hard, but I'm not gonna hold it against the mapper, actually. And that's gonna make more sense when you get to the end of the map. Proper. Uh, okay. So, important note. I have a... Yeah, I heard that guy land. Better deal with him right away. So, yeah. Important thing to note. We need a sewer key card, key card for this. And that holds a nail gun. And you will definitely want a nail gun. And again, a very cold door here. Well, that was close. Well, here's the other night again. I don't really remember. Okay, we got one of the ogres. I think there's another one right there. Yeah, we have a bunch of knights. And yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah, and we have like an ogre here. And I will make a save here. And... Okay, don't worry too much about the fact that there's a, a vor down there. I'm just gonna run for it. Because I have... Oh, I have a vor ball following me around. It's still following me around. Never mind, it exploded on my back. Yeah, I'll have to get rid of that rock driver. Also, the sudden fiend here. You're gonna want to get, we're gonna get familiar with that. Okay, so we have like a nail gun there that, that I really do want. We have 20, I think it's 15 health here. Nothing there, and and it's computer operated. Press any key. Yeah, this is a particular boodle little room. 
Especially if you come in here without any armor. Even if you come here with armor, it's pretty nasty. But yeah, here's our reward. A nail gun. And a little bit of health if we need it. Because yeah, this map is a bit of a special challenge. And I do enjoy it, but I definitely had to kind of warm up to it. Because it's pretty hard, actually. Anyway, we go. Yeah, what's interesting about this map is we have some pretty cool little rooms here. It really nails that feeling of, you know, the floating concrete city thing. And it has a bunch of really nice angles. Huh, would you look at that? The same trick they use in Doom. You overlay really a bunch of lines and apply the same texture to get the impression of foliage. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cancel their date. Because, you know, uh, this is Quake. Mm, I don't think there's anything behind that. No secrets in here either. Uh, okay, well, let's see what we can do about this part. Okay, I... Yeah. Gotta deal with the Enforcer first. Where even is the Vor? Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's better to drag the fiend over here, I think. Okay, 100 nails, not looking too bad. Please don't tell me there are any monsters down here. And it's just me and the war. Yeah, there's a grunt. Yeah, I just asked and you watch that. And that's the kind of mood this, this map puts you in. I think that might be a secret, but I could be wrong. And okay, we already did everything we have to do in here, I think. Uh, I don't really need that art, that, uh, that ammo. I'm gonna take the rockets though. Huh, I could have sworn, could have sworn there was a grunt in here. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking the nails. And here we're gonna get the gold card, which I don't really remember where I'm supposed to use it, but it's pretty early on, I think. And to minimize the amount of health I lose, I'm gonna camp that from here. Yeah, yeah, we have a bunch of zombies in there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here. Quickly dispatch them. And... I'm gonna get ready for a bit of, bit of a nasty little... Trap here. Monster closet type thing. Yeah. Okay, by some miracle I was able to actually get rid without much trouble. You're gonna jump in here. Uh, yeah. This might be a very bad idea.
No, it turned out to be an okay idea, actually. Yeah, again, it kind of sucks that I actually played this one more or less practiced. Because I do think it's a great map in terms of exploration, but the weapon balancing and the monster placement. Yeah, those are the map's two weaknesses, in my opinion. Of course, take it with a grain of salt. And that's all the axles I'm willing to expand on these guys. Because, yeah, while I have finished this map, I have finished it with very low supplies. Because it's just that kind of challenge, really. Okay. And you have a cool little pool here. A cool little pool with some rockfish. Oh, we have a bunch of Hell Knights in here, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think there's some ammo here. Yeah, I hate how freaky these things look underwater. The Molgum um, warping, warping impact they have just makes them look that weirder. Also, this Hell Knight up here, I'm gonna take care of him right now. Ignore those bozos up up there. Yeah, you don't need more than the standard shotgun to take care of these guys at least. Yeah, I was wondering where that one was. Because the way that this map is built, they can see you from all angles. Which isn't exactly good. If you don't watch it, you can definitely end up attracting more attention than you need. Okay, so the reason I, too, I didn't bother with those shoot I think it's a single enforcer actually yeah that's a secret you get a bunch of rockets out of it and the rockets are certain well grenades really and the grenades are certainly gonna come in handy sooner or later I'm looking on nails not bad I don't want to be short on them there are some bars where you have to face like shimmers and close quarters Not here though. Here we have a single scrag doing I don't know what. By the hole. Yeah, this place looks really cool though. Yeah, make no mistake, I really do enjoy this map. I suggest that it's a bit uneven in terms of difficulty. Okay, that wasn't a great idea. Okay, I got all the nails I can carry. Actually, I want to see if I can. I want to see if I can get that thing to come over here. Yeah, there we go. Because it's gonna try to jump here, I think. Well, that was the idea, at least. Ah, uh, there we go. Because here you may have some. Good or lovely sky void. Yeah, 
Yeah, now I see where the scrags are. This guys can be very annoying when traversing this little room. So, I thought that yellow window over there was a secret, but I don't think it is. I think it's just there to school you, make you believing there is a secret. There might be, but I didn't find it. So, as far as I'm concerned, it, no secrets exist in this part of the map. Even though we have eight secrets in the whole map, in the map total. There's anything aside, anything there aside from the rockets or grenades? Okay. Yeah, I see some rockets over there. I'm not sure I can actually hop over to get them from here. I can. Nice. And I want to taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. I have a bunch of rockets, and that's going to come in handy later. You can never have enough rockets, especially for stuff like that. Yeah, don't turn your don't turn your back to your fiends. They're gonna tear you up pretty bad if you let them. We only managed to take one. Okay. Yeah, the whole sequence is this whole map kind of enforces you paying close attention to what you're using. And here's the reason I said I wanted to make sure I had enough nails. And yeah, I do get like 50 of them in here, so I'm not too pressed. Okay, we have another fiend. Where did he go? Did he fall? Uh, yeah, I think he fell. Poor Fiend. I never, I hardly knew you. Uh, right. So, this is the final area of the map. Bit of a spoiler, but I don't think anyone's gonna mind it. Yeah, this part is pretty goddamn hard. What you have to do is you have to find a bunch of switches so you can lower those pillars. And you might notice there's a perforator over there. And here is like one of the hardest. This is one of the hardest, like, little challenges in this arena. Actually, getting these jumps right. Because if you fall. Yeah, it's not exactly. Good use of your time, or, nor your supplies. But yeah, this does look great. Now, where's the fiend? Ah, oh, there he is. It's not cheesing, I'm just making uh, effective use of the tools given to me. Yeah, you can make the jump back, so yeah, don't bother with that. Yeah, I see the ogre is already awoken. Come on. You get two grenades and then some shells. Yeah, I have enough grenades, I think. Grenades or rockets, I don't know. I call them both, really. Because of the way Quake is. Yeah, I know, you know, in hindsight, it's a good idea that I made this kind of my, I don't know, final map for this tier. 
almost like it's sort of a bo uh, boss map, I suppose. Also, I see... Uh, yeah, there's another place we can go. Should get another one of the panels open. Yeah, don't fall in there. Yeah, let me make a quick save here, just in case. And that's gonna give us a bunch of nails. Uh, I kind of want the super shotgun, but never remember how to actually get it. I think I have to do this side first, maybe? Yeah, having to fight Scrags over an uneven terrain is not exactly good. Huh. Oh, okay, we do have to get through that part at least. I see a bunch of monsters that are gonna show up in just a second. Yeah, remember to use your grenades responsibly. Don't go shooting fiends if you can help it. Also, good idea to clear these corridors out, because you never know. Uh, okay. Should I do the hardest one now or later? Can I actually get the super shotgun already? Where even is the super shotgun? I don't think I can. I don't think I have much of a choice, actually. Anyway, let's go through here. Yeah, good thing knights are pretty weak. Yeah, there's a uh, the last of the switches, I think. Oh uh, yeah, this one. Do I want to do this right now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, there's one of the switches that is actually really goddamn hard. And it's like a little gauntlet of sorts, so you have to really face a bunch of monsters at once. So that's one reason I'm saving up my rockets. Even though there is no rocket launcher in, in this map, that would have simplified things immensely. But I think that's the only one you have to do now, and I could have sworn you can get a super shotgun. That doesn't make much sense. Yeah, and there's this one still. And I never remember how to make the jump. Uh, maybe this? Yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, there's a bunch of rockfish here. It's a pretty novel idea for a fight, too. It's not new. It's you and a bunch of rodfish. And drowning. Can't forget drowning. It almost makes you a little bit paranoid of them. They will still nip at you, so yeah. You can exactly just dismiss them either. And yeah, after you hit that, and then you can come here. And yeah, now it's just the really tough gauntlet. I really don't want to do it, to be honest, it's actually quite painful. Uh, oh well. Are there any goodies in here? I never know. Anything back there? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there's a bunch of knights. Yeah, see what I mean? It's a good idea to make sure this little corridor here is already cleaned before you... Well, get going again. Okay, let's see what we have going on here. Green armor, better than nothing. Yeah, I, I would say I did a decent enough job of conserving ammo. That said, I will go back for those nails. I took the wrong path. Yeah, I have to go through here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's count them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the gauntlet is the last one. I think I'm gonna do okay this time around though. I certainly made a point to keep my ammo ready. Oh, I actually got crushed a little. Oh well. I almost want to say that you tell it me to just get it over with. Okay. Now for the hardest one. Is it just one shambler? Please be just one shambler. Yeah, it's just one shambler. Okay. Okay. I think we are all done here. Yeah, this little final gauntlet is very, very hard. For, well, for me at least. But yeah, no. I'm still missing one. What's going on? Oh, I have to jump around the hex again. And now, here it's the reason that I really warm up, warmed up to this map. So you come over here, you got the perforator. It's been a really long, kind of painful experience. And you get this. This was my first quake map. I didn't have time to do a fourth area. Even so... Thanks for playing. Yeah, see? And there's still like one little boss fight in the form of this spawn here. And I get this cool... Portal, well, slip gate, oh, overtaken by vegetation. And yeah, that was Cure Coil by Rabbit. Absolutely fantastic map. I just think it's a little bit unbalanced in terms of the sheer difficulty and supplies. But yes, now we are finally done with the first tier of the maps here. And down there, I don't think there are any more maps, so I'm gonna take some time to explore. But even so, yeah, this is, so we're gonna, I think this is the only way up, right? With the maps at least. Let's take a little look. I think, uh, yeah, I started doing this counterclockwise, I think. But let's hop up here and take a little look. Uh, we do have a few other maps here, just so I don't forget it. And you know what, since I started doing things with Peculiar Investigation, and that was definitely, yeah. Yeah, this is clockwise, this is counterclockwise. So instead of doing things over there, I'm going to do them over here. So yeah, as usual, this has been Matt. Thank you very much for watching, and join me for our next video of my quick realist jam playthrough, in which I'm going to waited authority. So, 
Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you there.